You know what to do with the instructions. Right off the bat, it looks like they finally put a flux core nozzle with a flux core machine. Uh, you can watch my other videos if you want to find out about the MIG nozzles, but uh, this is indeed, it looks like it's a flux core nozzle. And one extra tip. There's nothing else on top. I'm hoping they uh, throw some wire in with this. Look, a cute little uh, carry-in strap. There's not going to be any room for a 10-pound spool in this bad boy. Of course, with the little lady strap, you're going to be able to carry it around like your purse. Maybe uh, take it around Walmart, you know. Could go uh, compare it with the old lady's dogs you're walking by. Nothing against dogs, I love dogs. Just not ones you can fit in your purse. Uh, voila, the fastest unboxing video you'll ever see. And mostly because there's not really that much to it. So you got your basic uh, cheap $1 ground clamp. You do got uh, your MIG gun. I assume it's still a MIG gun. I don't know what to call it when it's only a flux core. Your flux gun, okay. Uh, this is yet a third flux core nozzle for it. So I think they kind of went a little overkill on this, but when it's just a nice cheap plastic, I guess maybe it's a selling feature. Don't know. You got an extra tip, your other two uh, nozzles, a one pound spool of O30 wire and the machine itself. The thing I'm actually uh, kind of excited about this guy is it's not just a simple four uh, knob settings. You get, it's an infinite, it's an infinite control. So the table, the diagram doesn't give you that many suggestions, only from uh, some 18 gauge to, to 3 16 So in reality, does it need that many settings? Let's set up the wire and uh, get the welding. So first thing I'm going to do is take off the little tip that it comes with. And that's just so then your wire doesn't get caught up in there. It should send it on through. There's a little, uh, if you can see, it's a little um, concave in there. It should send the wire through. But just in case, let's take it off. So we'll do that. While, while you are Arbor Freight, uh, pick yourself up some welding wires. <laughs> wires welding pliers uh, they'll help out uh, considerably just remember as soon as you take that out don't let go trust me I'm gonna snip off the end oh should have undone this first but oh well I'm gonna take that off the spring off the top part off put that on there keep a hand on there always keep a hand on the wire you're gonna undo the tensioner pull that guy out of place with your other third hand you're gonna try to spin this guy around feed that through that little sheet oh don't let go man you would think this is the first time I've done this Come on, there we go. Okay. So you're going to just feed a little bit through. Uh, if you can see, there's another little sheathing for your for the wire to go through the gun. Uh, put that back. Put the tensioner back on. Still holding on to this. I'm going to put the top hat on. Spring. Then, of course, the nut. And you're going to 
tighten this until it's, I mean, you just want a little tension on there. You don't want it too loose that it unspools itself, but you don't want it too tight that the motor can't, that the motor can't pull it through. So, I think that's a, that's a good tension. Let's turn this machine on. Turns on in the back in case you care. Turn up your wire speed just so then you're not sitting there forever. Let her rip. Done. Turn it back off. I'm gonna get my tip. Don't forget the tip. Put it back on, and in case you didn't know, these welding pliers. That's what those little uh, cutouts for, those little plier port. It's perfect for tightening the tip on. Alright, what do I do with the nozzle? I honestly don't know. Where's the nozzle? I'm gonna have to use one of my spares already. So, what I've got here is a new seat for my go kart link above anyway uh it's some 16 gauge uh square tubing so let's take a look underneath and what is that uh 16 gauge let's zoom in 16 gauge uh it, for 0.03 it's 4 and c to c.5 okay so pretty self-explanatory got four and C.5 my guess is uh, that's halfway through the C okay uh, just a guess so in my last video I talked about nozzle gel if you're flux core welding this will be a lifesaver it'll save you from going through tips like crazy it's very simple all you do is you just dab it in every once in a while that's it it keeps it uh, keeps it nice and clean Man, don't need to get that much on there. That's all it is. That's my plug for nozzle gel. Harbor, not Harbor. Harbor Freight does not sell it. So I'm going to tack this guy in place and then we'll take it up to the uh, welding table. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these welds. This was the very first one I did, and I actually think that was probably the west, best one, at least on this side. I don't know, you probably can't tell in the video, but as with every new welder, you kind of got to mess around with your technique a little bit. You get to, you get to know the machine. You got to get a fill for the new Titanium Flux 125. 